Hey guys, Mudges here, and welcome to another Solo Leveling Our Eyes video, and in this video, I'll be going over the gem system. So, I'll be sharing some tips, some things to look out for, and what you should go for in certain uh, slots of the gem system. So, the gem system unlocks, I believe, after chapter 15-ish. Uh, I want to say, like, level 53? 52? Uh, it's, it's around there somewhere. It's, like, not a flat number. Um, anyway, after chapter 15, you will have access to this uh, gem system. And basically what you are going to be looking for at when you first get this, uh, you don't have to be picky or anything when you first get this. Your main goal when you first get this is to unlock all the slots. And to do this, you basically go around in a circle. So you'll do like one of each color in a circle and then you will unlock the next row, so on and so forth. So you'll do the first row, the second row, third row, so on and so forth. So as you're doing this, uh, whatever gems you can get, just go ahead and throw them in there. It doesn't matter at this point. You will replace them eventually. Now, when you replace them, you are going to have different options for what you can put into the slot. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get this out of the way. As of right now, as of me putting this video out, currently, if you have flat attack gems or any other stat for that matter, if it's a flat value, it helps your hunters more. If you have a percentage-based gem for, like, attack or whatnot, it will assist Janu more. So, for the red one specifically, if you want more uh, damage for Janu, you can put the percentage in there. This is all, like, a preference thing. If you want to, to make your hunter stronger, you could put flat in them. I'm personally doing, like, just four and four. I'm going to go for four and four. And then once you get into the blue, it's going to be your HP gems and, like, healing given. So I'm going to talk about the blue and the green specifically. So hunters have things that scale off of HP and defense. So they have hunters with abilities that scale off of defense and HP. So my recommendation and just my opinion as of right now, if you can get a flat value HP gem, which is blue, or a flat value defense gem, which is green, I highly recommend that you prioritize those in those slots. But in the beginning, if you find some defense ones, whatever, or whatever you got, go for it. Now, with that being said, having the flat ones now is better. But we don't know what the game holds in the future. So you can also fuse these gems to create other gems. Do not fuse your percentage gems. Because if at any point they decide to, you know, up the scaling of percentage or what have you, you have those gems still on hand. So do not fuse your gems unless they're some stat that you'll probably find like completely useless, maybe like additional MP or something like that, something silly, right? So keep your percentage-based HP and defense gems, even though the flat ones are better now. So yellow is a little kind of straightforward, but kind of weird because it makes you feel like you have really good options. So you have precision, critical hit damage, and defense penetration. All three of these are good, but only one of these is uh hard to acquire naturally and that's precision so precision only comes on ascended weapons and through Janu's stat distribution so in my opinion because you can get critical hit damage from gear and you can also get defense penetration from gear i would prioritize precision in the yellow slot because it is the hardest stat to come by out of the three now as far as purple goes it only has additional mp and then like reduced mana cost and then there's speed. So speed is also a stat that isn't uh, acquirable through gear. So it also helps you in how fast you move across the map, yada, yada. So you can run through the stages quicker when you're going in between like those platforms and whatnot. So I would highly recommend speed for purple. Now, the last thing I want to go over is where you will be farming the gems from. So once you unlock your gem system, you'll also get the game mode for the gems, which is the Battlefield of Chaos. And these are on like a timer, so you can farm certain ones every day. When you do this, you can only get three reward uh, claims a day. So the first three that you clear, you will get rewards from. When you do this, get as high as you can, even though you have claimed your rewards already. So you can start at a higher level the next time that this uh, color of gem comes back around to you. Anywho, I hope that was helpful. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching, and don't forget to like and sub on the way out, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.